Dear friends, <clears throat> this Shabbat we'll be reading the Torah portion of Pinchas, a very fascinating portion, many different lessons we can learn from the stories <clears throat> and the laws that we find in this week's portion, and this is number 90 of our inspiration series for COVID. One of the things it talks about in the portion is the inheritance of the land that the Jewish people will be going into Israel. We're close to the border of Israel, at the end of the 40 years in the desert, and how the Jews will get the land. And we find something very fascinating. When it talks about the Jews getting the land, there are 12 tribes. <clears throat> how will the land be divided amongst the tribes? Because every tribe got a defined area of Israel. So we find three different terminologies that the Torah uses in this week's portion. On one hand, it says it's a nachla, it's an inheritance, that the land is an inheritance for the Jewish people. Every person inherits a piece of land, and they will get that piece. On the other hand, we talk about a goyro. There was lottery. <clears throat> they made a lottery for every tribe. They took the land, which was divided into 12 sections, and they chose a section of the land, and they chose one of the 12 tribes that received the land, and that tribe got that piece of land that came out at the same time. And then the third thing we find is La Rav that we're going to look at the tribes based on their numbers. The largest tribe had over 70,000. The smallest tribe had close to 20,000, a little over 20,000. So they got a piece of land based on the size of the tribe. So which was it? Is it based on the numbers of people in, in the tribe? Was it based on a lottery, which could be random? It could be <clears throat> give a small tribe a big piece of land or a big tribe a small piece of land? Or was it an inheritance, which inheritance everyone gets, specifically what they inherited? But we find that all three terminologies are used. And this is because our connection to Israel is on many levels. At the end of the day, they all were in sync with each other. The lottery happened, but the lottery happened according to what was already apportioned as an inheritance. And what was apportioned as an inheritance fit perfectly into the size of the tribe. So by God, it was all in sync and aligned with each other. It was all planned perfectly. But for us, it was important to know, and it came to us in these three formats, that these are three important ways of how we have to look at Israel. <clears throat> and suddenly Israel, Israel represents Judaism, the Torah, our connection to Hashem. On one hand, we have a nachla, we have an inheritance. As a Jew, we inherit the Torah, our connection to the Torah, our connection to Hashem. We inherit it. An inheritance you don't have to do much for. It's already part of who you are. You're in the family, you inherit. <clears throat> but even though you're in the family and you inherit, it's not really connected to you. It's yours, but it's not really connected to you. Goro, lottery, is already where you're chosen. Lottery is something where you're chosen. It came up, your name came up in the right place. This is where you were chosen to be. Because the truth is, whatever is our inheritance, it was chosen already for us. <clears throat> this, is a, this is our lot that we are supposed to be involved with. So our lot in life, where we are, when we are, with who we are, all the things that happen in our life, it's part of our inheritance, but it was chosen exactly for us, every one of us individually. Our journey is not someone else's journey. Every one of our journeys is our own personal journey. That's an inheritance because we're a Jew, uh, because we're put here in the world by God, but also was chosen according to who I am. And therefore, the Rav, the way it was chosen is based on my capacity. If someone has big capacity, you get uh, more to develop. So does a small capacity, you get more, less to develop. As the famous Hasidic master of Zusha Anapolar said, that when he comes to heaven, he's not going to be worried when they, that they're going to ask him, Zusha, how come you're not as great as Moses? He says, I'm not Moses. What they're going to ask me is, Zusha, how come I wasn't Zusha? How come I didn't live to my full capacity? And this is what we have to understand, that God plans our life for us. He lays us out. He brings us to the ballroom. He brings us to the party. He brings us to the place where we have to be this world and lays out our entire lifetime of 120 years. What we do during that lifetime, how we behave, how we react to the situations we are in, how much advantage we take of all the, the, the experiences we have, that is all dependent on us. 
So what we become is dependent on us. But what brings us here is a lot of planning from Hashem based on our inheritance as part of the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarif, Rachel, and Leah, based on our lot that God has chosen for every chosen for every person, and based on our capacity that God had given us. Now it's your turn. It's our turn to do what we need to do. And that's what the Jews realized when they went into Israel. God gave them the opportunity. But to actualize it, it's dependent on each individual, the Jewish people as a whole, but each individual. So too it is in our life. What we're going through is what God gives us. If we go through a, 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 a pandemic and we have to change our behaviors, we're home or we're not socializing, we're not going to all different events, we're not even going to show really like we used to. This is the, what God laid out for us. This is not something we can change. This is but the capacity that we have to deal with it. It was already given to us. But what we do and how we behave and if we use this time in a positive, productive way, if we grow through these things, that's all in our hands. That was put in our hands. And this is what a very strong message of Pinchas is for all of us. So may Hashem inspire you. May you have a great Shabbos. And may you live out to your full capacity what you can, what Hashem has planned for you and all of us, for all of us. We love you all. God bless you. Shabbat Shalom. Canline Time Montreal is 8.24 p.m.